When searching databases, one can choose specific areas of study, such as education, psychology, or business. To find these databases, I'll go to the library's homepage and click on A to Z list. Our research will address classroom size and how it affects students' academic achievement. I'm going to select Education from the subject dropdown. I'll start with the ProQuest Education Collection, which contains ERIC and ProQuest Education Journals. Once here, I'll use the Advanced Search. I'm clicking on Thesaurus to open the ERIC Thesaurus. With this tool, I can see if ERIC has categories for my keywords and key phrases. Here, I'll type in Class Size and click Find. We see that Class Size is a subject heading in this database. When I expand the subject, I see other topics of note. For example, teacher-student ratio. I could choose to add teacher-student ratio to my list of keywords and key phrases by checking its box and clicking Add to Search. The second concept I want to look for in the thesaurus is academic achievement. After searching, I see that it's also an official subject heading in ERIC. Expanding the subject reveals a long list with other terms to consider, terms such as writing achievement and reading achievement. I'll close this window to return to the advanced search. Here, I'll type my first concept of class size into this first box. Notice I put the phrase in quotation marks. Doing so keeps the words together as a phrase, instead of just the word class or the word size. In the second box, I'll type academic achievement also in quotes. The default scope for the search is anywhere, which means the search will retrieve items that include my keywords and key phrases anywhere in the database. If I want to, I can use the dropdown to change the scope of the search. Already knowing that my key phrases are subject headings, I could change the scope of my search to retrieve any items with class size and academic achievement as subject headings. Since I'm just starting, I'll search broadly by keeping anywhere as the scope. Now I'll press search. There are thousands of articles showing here. Some of these articles have links to view full text documents, while others don't. I'll click on full text to search for viewable articles. Many of these articles are from several years ago and might contain outdated information. I'll enter a date range and click update to find articles published within the last five years. This article, why does class size affect educational outcomes seems close to our research topic. However, it's from a trade journal. My research might require me to use a scholarly journal. I can choose to filter for scholarly journals under the source type category. This article, Small Class Sizes for Improving Student Achievement in Primary and Secondary Schools, looks promising. It's closely related to our topic. The full text is available. It was published recently, and it's from a scholarly journal. I'll click on Get Full Text under the article's description. I'm taken to a page in ERIC. Here, there's an overview of the article and a list of descriptors. Notice that our search terms, class size and academic achievement, are descriptors for this article. Clicking on Download Full Text opens a new tab with a PDF copy of the article. From here, I can view the article in my browser, download the article to my computer, or print pages from the article.